All right, Island 3. Heavy Machinery. Uh, I love this level very much. I love, uh, I love all the robots. Castle Machinery is also a good one. That's, uh, the... One of the final levels of the game. Uh, this one we can get everything. Uh, there are no colored gems in this level. is this, and uh, if you don't know where that is, uh, you won't be able to find it effectively. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need to be able to figure that out to get the box gem that you do. And it's not particularly obvious. Yeah, the blue ones, the blue pipes, it's okay to land on. Up, oh, well, I did that. I, I greeted for a life I didn't need. Well, now I might need it, so there we go. Yeah, just aesthetically, I love the the, uh, the concept of this level here. It, I know you kind of get like a similar kind of feel uh, with Robotnik uh, like bases and stuff, but I, I don't know. It kind of feels like this is more like just more, more simple, I guess, in a way. I, I don't know. It, it's hard to describe what the difference is. Well, maybe, maybe the difference is just not speeding through it. Maybe maybe that's the answer. Uh, well, uh, I, I can I can speak to that better. It's not like a warship you're going through. It's like you're actually going through a robotic factory, effectively. Or, or in this case, like a factory with a whole bunch of toxic waste. And the, uh, the green is uh, very pleasing, I suppose. Uh, aesthetically, I kind of feel. C certainly, it's a distinction from, like, uh... The, the usual uh, suspects of like uh, water world, ice world, fire world, desert uh, that Mario and Sonic go through. Now, now that those can't be fun, but it's also fun to mix it up. And I like Mario levels where they they go to like food world or uh, or uh, I, I, just, just just like a whole bunch of like different like aesthetics and stuff. For they're just fun. It's fun to mix it up and uh, do a different concept of a world. Oh, yeah, I got time, uh... There we go. You got time to get through those things, otherwise they'll burn ya. But, you know, not they're, they're, they're easy enough to do. It's just a matter of getting through them. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I, re I really like the concept of these uh, you can't fall levels. I don't know why. It, it's just it's just uh, it's just a cool concept to have to, uh, to to just time your bounces and move uh, move over accordingly. Uh, obviously, I didn't in that case, but I, it, it's still a fun concept. I like it a lot. Uh, but uh, yeah, we don't we don't have to worry about dying in this one because uh, there's no uh, there's no color gem in this level. Uh, as I die again, so yeah. Although technically it's not dying, it's just uh, failing to achieve bonus. <laughs> These do get significantly harder as you go through the game, which. Uh, considering this is your only way to save in the PS1 version, very frustrating. Because <laughs> you only save if you get through to the end. There we go. <laughs>
Yep, and just be patient with those things. They don't, because they don't know what level they're at when they're going, or, or which which one which uh, routine they're on when they start up. And then we got a Brio level coming up here soon. It is fun, more fun to do this way. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it, it's still an interesting pad there, but they yeah, don't really play with that concept too heavily. Oh, nope. I, I deserve that. I deserve that. I greeted. I got exactly what I deserve. Yeah, this level also introduces you to the concept of these pipes. And there are other levels that play around with the concept even more. And, uh... In a different way. Right now you're navigating through them in 2D. It's harder in 3D, as one would expect. Okay, so. Like I said, Brio challenges are all harder. <laughs> so this was the uh, Tana challenge, but you kind of have to react a little differently. Although you get a nice little break point right there. And yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, th these were designed to not... Th these were designed to be particular challenge levels, which... Uh, it's, it's fine. Like, I, I don't hate these. Uh, I hate the physics. Uh, I hate the physics where I clearly hit something and I slide off on the side. I hate that. You just can't. You can't to keep. You can't to keep moving. Like particularly for the long ones, go 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 the full distance as opposed to half stepping it. It's kind of the key. But th these things just just fill you stupid with lives. Uh, unfortunately, I have way too many lives. Or, yeah, not not unfortunately. Just uh, you, you you can't go over. I, I think that, that that just stems from the days of the arcade system where you you had lives and that was dictated by currency. Uh, but you know, let's yeah, make sure we grab those. Even though they hold no value, they're still boxes, and therefore I need them. <laughs> yep, there we go. Hi, pup. There we go. Another couple percent through the game. Okay, this one... I thought this one had a color gem. I guess it doesn't. Oh. Well, it, it relies on a color gem to get uh, it. And uh, this level is, has a lot of backtracking and is very annoying. But uh, is a is a cool level concept. This one doesn't have a sister level, I don't think. Uh, maybe the generator room, I guess, is kind of a sister level. But uh, this is the weirdest perspective here. Like it, it, it's almost top down here, and this is the only level that has this perspective, and it's it's just kind of annoying. Because it, 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 it's just kind of jonky a little bit. I, I understand what they're going for. It's just, it's, it, it, it's, it's just a little rough. Uh, there are different things on each path. We will go through those on a later run because we can't get everything anyway. And it's frustrating to go down dead ends uh, when I don't have to. So we won't. Yep, and just a little bit of patience there. Yeah, this is kind of like the first, uh, yeah, that's our, that's our, that's our advanced version of pipes here, uh, and get navigating through them. Yeah. Crashes, unfortunately, going to be pelted with a lot of boxes. Okay, excellent. Break his spirit. 
Yeah. Uh, th there's nothing we can do. We need the blue gem here. All right. Yellow gem, which means this is a cannot die run, which is uh, the generator room, which is... It, it, it's it's a little janky. Uh, I, gu I guess it kind of is a similar perspective. Like, it, it, it's, it is more... Uh, it is more uh, close to that last level than... Uh, then, uh, like, I guess Temple is kind of very similar to it. Although, uh, because of the rules of this level, I have to start over, even though I missed that jump here. That jump is going to take a little bit of getting used to the perspective change a little bit. Because yeah, Temple Room is more zoomed out. This one's more... This is more intimately close, I feel like. Which makes sense, because you can't really see that far ahead, uh, as opposed to a normal uh, crash level. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, unfortunately, the timing of some of these TNT crates I don't have down precisely. But y you have to hit them in a very specific area, because if you hit it too low, it won't break. Hit it too high, you blow up. Yeah, so these are kind of like the uh, these are kind of like the donut lift tiles. They they hover for a brief moment and then they fall. Although they do automatically do that. Uh, this thing will also fall. Uh, we have enough time to get everything, but uh, I, I want to align myself before. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I mean, we still had tons of time, but uh, I don't really need a ton right now because I have all the uh, I have all the lives still. <laughs> not that we won't need them because the high road is not the next level, but it is right after we battle the boss of. Uh, uh, the, the first boss of the island here, which is Pinstripe. <laughs> I don't know what a Potteroo is. I assume it's uh, an animal in Australia that wants to murder you. Like most animals from Australia. Uh, living in Australia seems rough. It seems like everything wants to murder you. Here it gets too cold for animals to be that violent. I know on the west coast they had just and and in like Florida and shit they just have a whole bunch of things that if they could murder you would absolutely murder you. I I, I guess there's wolves depending upon where you're at and uh, we we always have to keep a lookout for coyotes uh, particularly with uh, Chloe. Uh, I remember like two months into having Chloe. There's this one just randomly wandering out in the middle of the day. Uh, it didn't notice Chloe, and Chloe didn't notice it, and I just picked her up and just booked it out of there. Uh, and thankfully that was the end of it. Uh, but uh, yeah, c coyotes are, are always... Uh, they're, they're basically like mangy cats. Of course. Uh, that's frustrating. <laughs> All right, we'll go through this again here. I, w I wish there was a reset uh, thing on the uh, on the thing, but there isn't. <laughs> like I said, this is a very this is a very precise window here, and if you do not hit it, it is annoying. Oh, come on, <laughs> hi puppers. Hey, puppers. There you go. See, aren't you comfy? Yeah. You've been trying to fight it, but I know you're sleepy. Chloe prefers to sleep in the uh, the living room in uh, the Lazy Boy chair I got. That, that has become her new favorite place to lie down. So, 
being in the office, he kind of wants to signal for me to go into the living room, but my living room has absolute shit acoustics, so the, the office is a better place to record stuff. And also a rough weekend for my doggy. No, not rough in, in any terms, just uh, I, I was out and about more often this weekend than I usually am. <laughs> And unfortunately, going to going out and about means uh, going to places where I cannot bring a dog. Sadly, although I could, I can bring the dog to the arboretum uh, just on certain weekends. Uh, and it was not one of those weekends, but I got invited to go with some friends, so I went. I mean, it is cool. I'm not big into nature and trees, but I mean, it's still like there's a lot of cool stuff at the arboretum. It's like 300 acres. It's got like 20 miles of like walking paths and shit. Uh, this is pretty, it's pretty cool. And then, uh, we did Dave and Buster's, uh, which, uh, if, if I was ever at risk for getting into stuff during, uh, this whole thing, that'd probably be the time. Not, not for any particular reason, just, it seemed like there was just a whole, that was the largest group of people I've been around in a while. <laughs> but it, it is for an engagement party, so, I mean, it, it is what it is, uh. I had a good time though. I mean, it, it, it was good. Just it, they didn't rent it. They didn't rent it out because that would have been way too pricey to do for obvious reasons. So uh, I'm not saying they should or shouldn't have. I'm just saying, like, in in terms of in, in terms of like just being around random strangers, that's the most random out of strangers I've been around. Particularly random out of strangers not wearing masks, uh, which you know. I think I, you know, I, I'm still of the mindset to wear one as you, I, I don't know. I think part of it is just I want to be perceived by everybody I encounter as a good person. I think that that's probably part of it. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not bothered by wearing one, so it, to me, it's just easier to wear one because, it, it, you, you know, I, you have to make a lot of assumptions about uh, people, and I just prefer people don't make those assumptions about me. <laughs> easy enough. Okay. Yeah, we got the rhythm and rhyme down for that one pretty easy.